So when it comes to generational curses, these are not from witches or humans at all. Generational curses, a curse upon an entire generation. Only God has the power to do that. And he has. And he did. <laughs> In Exodus. like, So he only has the power to curse a generation. And he only has the power to break them. So a lot of people have talked about generational curse breakers. And yes, like there is, you may be that generation. Well, let's speak frankly. This is that generation where many generational curses, the Lord has his word, put his word forth, not today in this generation, but when he first laid the curse down, he's like, this is going to be on that generation until da, da, da. So this is that generation where he has allowed many curses to lift. But of course, that's conditional. So first of all, it's not like you or me are so... Oh, I'm such a fire believer that I have lifted the curse. No, the world looks at generational curses as, you know, patterns of alcoholism, patterns of divorce, you know, patterns of this and this and that. That's a worldly view of generational curses. And yes, these things suck and they're handed down generation, but that's not a generational curse as, you know, we speak about biblically. So generational curses, um, once they're lifted, that's because God said that they would be lifted in point, at an appointed time. And even that's conditional. That's conditional of your covenant, you know, that you're in covenant with him. Or you're going to just carry on in that curse. Absolutely. Because breaking covenant is the reason that God cursed generations to begin with. Or not having covenant at all. You know, not receiving him. Exodus 20 and 5. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. So it's very specific. Or God, you know, there's a way. And the Lord does things by that way. Like God does things by his way. He's very specific. We know that down to cubits, down to generations, you know what I mean? Down to decorations, uh, you know what I mean? Like the Lord throughout the entire Bible is very, very specific. So just know that about generational curses. This is a generation that, you know, the Lord himself, many curses have come off and that's, you, know, you might say, well, Kelly, how do you know that? That's not even something, um, that's something that came to me in tongues, as many words have, many revelations have. That's something that came that I just started speaking out, and um, it was in Greek. And when I looked it up, that's what it was talking about. And this is a word I put out here last fall. I've only ever put one video about generational curses, and it was about the lifting. And for some reason, they're being brought to my heart again. Um, but I just wanted to share that, you know, when we talk about generational curse breakers, it's not so much as uh, you or me are able, you know, we're just like rocky in the spirit and we're lifting curses. No, the Lord has already allowed that this curse would be lifted for this generation. Should you be in covenant with him? Should you not continue how our forefathers did? I mean, think about it, you know, for the generations that were cursed. And this is not for all, not every bloodline was cursed okay some were obedient you know what i mean um so you know it just depends some of our forefathers truly hated god and god said cursed until the third or fourth cursed until here or there so that's where generational curses come from they're not witches we don't have the power to lift them but this is a generation where as you are in loyal covenant with the lord he has allowed them to be lifted hallelujah glory to god